Здравствуйте, меня зовут Наталья. Hello, my name is Natalia. And this is a weekly Russian lesson. It's the second lesson in pronunciation series. And today you learn how to pronounce Russian vowels. А, я, о, ё, у, ю, and э, е. I will also explain why eight vowel letters indicate only four distinct sounds. Why do we say that Russian vowels are paired? And why do we call some of them hard indicating and the others soft indicating? Vowels, except for U, have English counterparts. Let's see how we pronounce them. The first pair is A and Ya. Letter A signifies sound A, very similar to English A that's uh, indicated by letter A. But please do not call this letter Russian A. This is letter and sound A. A is paired with Ya, and letter Ya is not just one sound. It's same sound A combined with the glide Y sound. Y, A, Ya. The sound Y, same as in English, yes indicated in Russian alphabet by letter E, кратко, sound Y. And it is in Russian not a vowel, it's a consonant. Sometimes it's also called semi-vowel. A and Y is an interesting pair. A is the first letter of Russian alphabet and Y is the last. Also Y is a personal pronoun, I, the first person although it is never capitalized in Russian. As a child, I heard many times this saying, Я – последняя буква алфавита. Я – is the last letter of the alphabet. It means, don't put yourself before others, think of others first. The next pair is О and Ё. O is again very easy sound, same as an English word more, but it is O, not O, Russian letter and sound O. And Yo is again Y and O, Yo. U and U. U is a similar sound to English U in the word wood. Letter U looks strange, but the sound is very easy. Same is in English U. Y, U, U. And the last pair is E and Y. E is similar to English E in the word pet. And ye again is a glide, y sound in letter e, y, e, ye. As you see, these eight vowels indicate only four distinct sounds. And they're paired because the only difference between them is a glide, y sound. But the last pair, the remaining pairs that we didn't look at today, u and E is somewhat different. And sound E has no English equivalent. So this pair deserves a separate lesson. I'm going to describe and explain everything about it next time. So why do we call Russian vowels, half of Russian vowels, soft indicating? When vowels ya, yo, ye, you, and e follow the consonant, they indicate that this consonant should be pronounced 
soft or palatalized. But that's not all that happens. The vowel itself is affected by the consonant and it loses its glide y sound and becomes instead of a double sound just one vowel sound. So both sounds get modified. Uh, let me explain this concept with some examples. We'll practice with two easy Russian consonants that are similar to English in sound and form. The first one is indicated by Russian letter M, and the sound is M, like in more. And the second letter K indicates sound K, like in English kite. Before hard indicating vowels, they are pronounced as hard consonants, m and k. But before soft indicates, they become palatalized and are pronounced soft as m and k. In Russian sound system, this is a very important distinction. Soft and hard consonants are considered as two separate sounds, so it's very important to uh, pronounce them correctly. How do we pronounce soft indicating consonants? When forming the soft consonant, the tongue should be arched against the roof of your mouth called soft palate. This position of the tongue softens the consonants, softens the sound. And now we'll practice pronouncing hard and soft indicating pairs. The first letter M, ma versus mia. In mia it's not m ya, it's m a, mia. Mu and mu, m o, mu, mu, mu. M U Mu Me Me M E Me Making some animal sounds here. And the second letter Ka O Q K O Q K K K E here. So an important vowel pronunciation rule today is soft indicating vowels when they appear after consonants indicate that preceding consonant is pronounced soft and at the same time they lose their glide y sound. We will practice pronouncing soft indicating vowels much more when we learn to pronounce all 36 Russian consonants. But for today, that's all. Next time we'll learn to pronounce the very exciting Russian sound U. Thank you for watching. До свидания. Goodbye.